Thank you and welcome to another segment of Visions of What is to Come and this is number 16. I would like to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much. I pray for each and every one of you. I don't know you personally, but I thank you for um, your personal emails and comments that you have sent me. Um, I had so many suggestions and just things that I wouldn't even think of and I thank you so much all of you who have had some input um, into how I can make um, my, channel, my channel better. Um, I'm just going to jump right in and I've had a series of visions but I'm going to break them up. So um, I make one for right now and then I come back and I make another one um, like I said at least once a month. Um, this one I had um, and I'm not sure but it was a couple of weeks ago and I dreamt of a military base that I was on a military base and I'm not sure where it was, but I got the feeling it could have been um, in in an Asian company, uh, Asian um, country. It could have been um, it could have been Japan. Um, I'm not really sure, but uh, Korea. If we have bases there, I know we used to have an army base there. I'm not really sure, but I got the feeling because I was there in a, an American school that was on base. And I was kind of like, just like, a, you know, like a bystander watching. And all of a sudden, I heard an announcement. And it was, um, I guess the base commander uh, was uh, announcing that uh, we were under some type of attack. And so I remember people, you know, like, you know, running. And I remember, you know, um, it was kind of, I, I, I believe it was like a high school. Because I felt like, you know, like the kids were in high school. Now, I don't know how the bases the schools run overseas on base. I don't know if they combine everybody or what, but I remember seeing like the teenagers. And I remember um, when the attack hit came on the base and I remember seeing soldiers and they were, I don't, they were not American. They were, they looked um, Asian. And uh, I heard the Asian uh, commander, you know, giving the orders. Um, I just wanna say, I really believe that there is gonna be some type of attack on a military base or a takeover as though maybe they would turn on the United States. Um, I know we're there to keep peace and we have bases all over the world, um, but I believe that some something's going to happen on a base and that, um, you know, it will be um, basically some type of, you know, attack um, to where they would turn on us. I've been feeling in my spirit for the last maybe two weeks that something is going to happen and I just could not put my finger on it and all I can say is I'm asking each of those who know how to pray and the words of prayer and believe in the power of prayer to pray because I believe that prayer changes things I believe that if we pray and we ask God you know um, now mercy on us because I believe that there's things that's going to happen and that the government is not really telling us I mean they want to keep us dumb and you know and, and don't want us to know what's going on and I also you know pray that people will open up their eyes and realize that we're going to go through a tribulation period before Jesus return for us and I don't know how to explain it I know you all don't know me you don't know my history but if I see something I don't care how long it takes usually it'll come to pass there was one incident I believe the longest took 12 years um, and the lady found me. Um, it was a friend of my sister's. And uh, she had lost contact. My sister moved. She moved. And somehow she found my sister to tell my sister, to tell me that something I had saw took 12 years. I believe it was 12 years. It was a long time. I believe it was 12 years um, before it came to pass. And that's the longest I've ever um, had someone to come and seek me out about something. But these type things um, that I've been dreaming of, a lot of people, you know, if you read my comments, are telling me where, you know, um, you saw this and this could be that, or this could be that, and they and they could be right. The things I saw, a lot of people are making, you know, the connection between what I saw that's happening, you know, um, is happening right now. And, and one particular one, uh, someone had mentioned me about um, some type of a drone attack and how, you know, I had saw bombs going off. You know, and I believe too that that have something to do with the um, 
the common icing that's supposed to be headed this way. Um, you know, the Bible say, uh, my people perish for lack of knowledge. I would suggest for you to, um, you know, make yourself informed. You know, um, you know, when you have some downtime, you know, get on YouTube and look up, the, uh, look up the alternative media sites. Because I don't really trust the media. If the media is letting us know something, it's either too late or it's not true. You know, they want to, you know, kind of, um, you know, take our eyes off the big picture. A lot of things, you know, that are major um, are going on when they, they allow something else to happen. Um, I've, I've heard where um, one uh, man was saying, and I don't know how true it is, a man is going around on the Internet named Patty Bouchard. I think I hope I'm saying her name right, Bouchard or something. And this particular person is um, saying a whole lot of information about the government and what the government plans on doing. I don't know about this person, but I know what I'm singing. And a lot of the stuff I'm singing, this person is saying. I've had other things that I've seen as well. And some of them are quite disturbing. In my next video, I'll be telling you about one that is so disturbing that, you know, I had to wait on it. And I did. And I got more information. And now I'm just waiting for the time to release it. And um, it's... I, I may lose a, f a few subscribers from it uh, because it's it's a it's a it's a view is a viewpoint, and also um, I've had a vision, you know, um, of this particular person, and this is and this is and this is a vice president, and um, you know, I was just as shocked when I seen it, but I do know that I may lose a few subscribers. That's okay because I'm gonna tell the truth. Like I've told you before, I always try to keep it 100 with you all. You know, I'm not going to lie to you about anything. This channel is about me sharing what I've seen. I'm gifted. The Lord shows me stuff. I consider myself a serious. And I see things. I'm able to see things since I was the age of 12. I have a gift of wisdom and knowledge and give a word of knowledge. It's just a gift. Most of my family members are gifted. Either they're gifted in this way, or they have a musical gift. Some type of gift everyone in my family has. My parents were just blessed. Um, I thank God for that, you know, because it makes it easier <laughs> when you have other uh, people in your family that has gifts as well. Mine is the most unusual next to my brother. And um, people say, well, you can talk to spirits. That's wrong. My brother was a child five years old and spirits would come to him and talk to him and even as he's a grown man in his 50s spirits still come and talk to him I have a son that at the age of one spirits was talking to him coming to him it's not a curse it's just people are born with certain gifts I don't understand it but it's real okay and I prayed the gift of my son when he was I think it was one or two I know he was he, he was either one or two one or two, I'm not sure because I don't want to tell an untruth, but I know he was young. And I remember he was seeing, he kept pointing at this man, you know, and um, I figured out who the man was um, by his description because I asked a whole lot of questions. And I prayed, I said, God, please take it because my brother had told me he can see because my brother could see. And it made him very unusual to people when you have gifts like that. You're unusual. You try to hide it. You're peculiar because you're not like other people. And I didn't want my son to experience that. And I prayed and God removed it. But at the age of 21, it came back and it came back strong. And my son is a very, um, he's a person that goes after academics. You know, I'm not bragging or boasting. I praise God for the blessings he's bestowed upon my son. And that part of him, he doesn't want to entertain. Um, but when God wants to speak to him, he will use him and he will let him use him. But it's unlike me where I walk, breathe, eat, and talk my gift. Everything involves my life is my gift. Even the jobs I've held, you know, um, some of them in some prestigious places. Don't let their southern accent fool you. I have had jobs where I have talked to some very important people. And I thank God for that. And it made me the person that I am today. That I'm humble enough to be able to sit here and tell you the things that I saw. 
and I thank God for being able to share with you these things. Right now, for you who have landed on my channel, don't think it's strange. If you land on my channel, God is preparing you for what is to come. And he will pour his spirit on all flesh. And there's it it people prophesying and, and dreaming dreams. That's, that's the word of God. People having dreams like never before. People having dreams of the, of the rapture, which I believe the rapture is not going to occur until some point after the tribulation period. And I'm not going to argue with you on it. Like I said before, you can create your own channel and argue your points. I've been in church all my life. I've heard it argued on the pre-trip, mid-trip, post-trip, and pre rap And I'm not here to say which one. All I know is that I've seen we're going through a tribulation period. I've been, been, um, been told to get ready because I'm going to be one of the ones to help people adjust when they realize what's happening and they go into a panic mode. I thought we was going to be raptured. You know, many are called, but few are chosen. I'm chosen. Before I even knew I was chosen for this mission, I picked a name, made chosen one. And that's because I knew God had chose me for something. But now I know my purpose. For you who are out there who are listening, you've been chosen. You're probably one out of your family. And the other ones probably look at you strange or weird. Hmm, don't worry about it. It's going to be hard. You'll feel lonely sometimes. you feel like quitting. You feel like throwing in the towel, saying, God, why me? But you know, you'll just drop that and you'll keep on going. That's what you'll do. And you'll be one to help people. And your reward is not on earth. Your reward is going to be given to you by the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You will receive your reward. Your reward. So keep on. For those of you who have backslidden, get back with God. You know, it's a, it's, it's a faith walk. You know, my mother used to say, this is a faith walk. You know, we walk by faith, not by sight. We're going to make mistakes. We're human. You know, but you pick yourself up. When you fall down, you don't lay in the dirt. You get up, you shake yourself off, and you keep on going. So if you're a backslider, just repent. You ask the Lord to come back into your heart. He ask Him to forgive you and help you to show you what to do. Because now is the time. We all not perfect. We all make mistakes. But God knows our heart. Jesus knows our heart. And again, I want to thank each of you for watching my videos, even sending me your messages and your ideas. I really appreciate it. I want to say to you, God bless you and may heaven shine upon you.